Hello, my name's Tom O'Brien and I'm the Director of Evidence at the Early Intervention Foundation. We're a government work centre dedicated to ensuring that effective early intervention is used to improve the lives of children and young people at risk of poor outcomes. What this means is that we try to ensure the best available evidence is used to design national policy and local services for children and families. I'm very sorry that I can't be at this event but I wanted to offer a few thoughts in advance to hopefully frame the discussion. Firstly around what early intervention is and the role of data has in that. For us, early intervention means providing evidence-based services to those children and young people at risk of poor outcomes. Making the best use of the available data is crucial to this in several ways. Firstly around identification. Rather than waiting for a crisis or the point at which families require statutory services, using local data to identify the families who may be most in need of support and using real-time data to understand if families are becoming more vulnerable is a crucial element of getting services to children and young people as early as possible. Secondly, around service provision. Early intervention will only work if the services provided meet the specific needs of an individual. Data can never be used to, to replace the assessment of a skilled practitioner, but it can provide useful full insight into the complex set of factors a family is facing, which can ensure help ensure that the right support is provided at the right time. And finally in terms of monitoring and evaluation, it is essential that we understand if the services are delivering as expected to children and young people. Of course this will often require us to gather data directly from service users, but we should also think about how routine admin data such as school attendance, rent arrears and social service status can also be used to tell us if an intervention is improving outcomes for children and young people. I also wanted to offer a few thoughts on COVID and the impact that I'll have on children's services. We need to think about how the pandemic will impact on social services and how we can intelligently use data to support families as we emerge from the lockdown. We don't fully understand the impact that this pandemic has had, but we expect it to increase pressure on families with unemployment rising, mental health deteriorating and issues like domestic abuse and child neglect rising. Using data to identify the families in need of support many of whom may not have been well known to services prior to the pandemic, has to be part of ensuring that COVID doesn't leave a lasting scar on the children and young people's life chances. I hope this provides some useful insight for your discussion today and you have a successful seminar in exploring the power of data to really transform services and help support the most vulnerable in our society. Thank you.